Hello and welcome to Valheim by the Numbers. Today we'll be doing a follow-up to our arrow video looking to see which bows perform the best in which situations in Valheim. Alright, so starting with the meadows, the only meadows level bow is the crude bow, and thus it is the best one for its era. Now coming back through the meadows, the Draugr Fang is going to be the best thing for the boar and the grayling. Well technically the best thing is still the crude bow for the neck, as a normal level 3 crude bow can one-shot a neck. When it comes to Ikethir, however, the Spine Stab is going to be your best bet. Now something else to mention is that the fine wood bow is actually not too difficult to get before beating Ikethir. All you have to do is employ the help of a troll or roll some logs into each other and you can end up with a fine wood bow. So usually I end up skipping the crude bow and going straight for the fine wood. So the black forest only adds one kind of bow, the fine wood bow, and thus the fine wood bow is the best bow and the black forest level. Now when you run back through the black forest for whatever reason at the end of the game, the spine snap is going to be your best option for the black forest, the burial chambers, the elder, and for killing Brenna. However, when it comes to the Grey Dwarfs and the Grey Dwarf Shamans, it's much more economical to kill them with a Draugr Fang since it will use less stamina and still kill them in one shot. Once you've moved into the swamp, you'll have unlocked the Huntsman's Bow. So the Huntsman's Bow is thus going to be your highest DPS option. However, due to its significantly higher stamina usage, I prefer to, to hold on to the Finewood Bow throughout most of the swamp. Now the Spine Snap is consistently the best bow for the end of the game in the swamp. However, the numbers are close enough with both the leech and the certling that I tend to prefer the Draugr Fang against those two enemies in particular due to the lower stamina usage. So as you start to progress through the mountains, you'll unlock the Draugr Fang bow, which then becomes the best bow at the mountains level for everything except for the bat. Technically, the bat can be killed by anything that is a fine wood bow or above, and so the least stamina drain would be a fine wood bow. Now, when you're coming back through the mountains at the end of the game, your best choice is generally going to be the Spine Snap, except in the Frost Caves. In the Frost Caves, I'd highly recommend continuing to use the Draugr Fang, as you'll save a lot of stamina. Now, the one exception to this is Motor. With Motor, the damage numbers are close enough that depending on what kind of stamina food you're run eating, if you're running out of stamina, I'd highly recommend switching to the Draugr Fang instead of continuing with the Spine Snap, since your DPS won't be that much lower. So the Plains actually doesn't add a new kind of bow, and thus the Draugr Fang remains the best in all situations. However, when you come back to the Plains towards the end of the game, if you want to kill Yaglith again, I'd recommend taking a Spine Snap, as that will do significantly more damage. And the same deal with the Mini Boss. Additionally, the Spine Snap does much better against the growth, so clearing out tar pits can definitely be assisted by using a Spine Snap over a Draugr Fang. And finally, onto the Mistlands. So the Mistlands, you finally unlock the Spine Snap. However, quite ironically, when accounting for stamina usage, the Draugr Fang remains the best bow for the Mistlands in every single situation against every single type of enemy, anywhere from the infested mines to the divergers to the queen. And with that, we conclude our analysis of every bow in Valheim. Go ahead and leave a comment down below telling us what your favorite bow is and why it's the crossbow. Be sure to like and subscribe to help this video reach more people and help them out through their Valheim adventures. Have a good one, happy gaming, and best of luck in the Ashlands.